Hey guys, welcome back to episode 9 of our Unity Make an RPG series. Uh, today, I'm going to be taking a step back away from our turn-based combat system that we did last time and going to uh, set up our character, our player character, and set up character creation. Uh, I realized that uh, in order for our combat system to work properly, we need a character, so I'm going to take the next few episodes and uh, go over that. So I'm in the same project, and then our scripts... Um, folder. I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it base player and in base player I'm going to create a new C sharp script and I'll call it uh, base player. I'm going to open this script up and it's I'm going to set it up much like I set up the items and um, we're going to, I got rid of model behavior because we're not going to be using it. So the first thing I'm going to set up is a string and it's going to be a player name and then we have a private uh, int player level and then we have a private class oh it's character a uh, base class excuse me base character class and we'll call it player class and then the last thing we have are the four stats that we chose of uh, quite a few episodes ago and they're all they're in, they're all integers and it's stamina private int endurance private int intellect and then private int strength so now I'm going to set up the public setters and getters for them like we've been doing so private string or public string excuse me player name I'm going to set up our get and it's going to return our player name and we're gonna set and we're gonna say player name is equal to value. I'm gonna go up here actually and copy and paste this. Okay, I'm gonna come up here, change this to an int, and now we need to do player level. Like that. I'm gonna copy this, paste it. We have our player class next. Okay, and instead of a string, that's a base character class. You change that to capital P. And then we have all of our stats. So we'll come in here, copy and paste our stats. It's kind of redundant, but it's all right. Get it done and strength. Change these to an int. We need to change this uh, lowercase s to a capital S. This is going to be int. Again, changes to a capital S so we can access it. Uh, this is going to be an E, capital E. Change that to an int. Int, and then change that to capital I. Okay, so we set up our base player. So now we're going to create a, a simple script. We're going to start creating a script that allows us to uh, create our new player character. So we're going to control S to save. Going to go back to Unity. Going to close this. Going to create a new folder. Oh, well, I created the script. So we're going to do create new character. I wanted to uh, go up here and create new folder, and we'll call it create player just so we can store this script gonna grab create new character okay I'm gonna open that up in mono develop and I'm gonna leave all this here I'm gonna go down and create a new on GUI and in on GUI I'm gonna create well actually up, come up top the first thing we're gonna do is make a private base player and we're gonna call it new player on our, in our start function, we're going to say new player is equal to a new base player. So this just uh, sets new player equal to a brand new base player uh, object. And then we need to come back up here and we need to create two toggles for our, or two Boolean values for our uh, classes that we made. That we made. So we'll go private bool is mage class. 
and then we'll go private bool is warrior class. So now in our on GUI function we can create a couple uh, toggle switches. So we'll go is mage class. We'll set equal to a GUI layout dot toggle. And as you can see, this says we need a bool value and content. So we'll set our is mage class bool value, and then we'll create our content a string, and we'll say mage class. And that's all it needs. And then we're going to create another one for our warrior. So is warrior set that equal to GUI layout dot toggle. Again, it needs a uh, boolean. So is warrior, and then we'll say warrior class. Now, this uh, the way this is set up. Uh, it allows you to select either mage or warrior. Uh, we only created the two classes beforehand. If you created several for your game, by all means, add them all here. I'm just going to do these two for now. I can come back later and add more if I come up with more. If you guys want me to add more, but now what I'm going to do is create a GUI button. So I'm going to go if I'm going to create an if statement for the GUI button. I'm going to go GUI layout dot button. And the button also just takes a content, so I'm going to say create. And then in our if statement, I need to check whether or not is mage class is true or is warrior class true. So I'm going to go if is mage class. And basically, this if statement says if is mage class is equal to true, then do this set of code. So in here, I'm going to say new player, which we instantiated up here earlier created earlier uh, character class player class I'm going to set that equal to a new base mage class so that sets this mage class object to our player class now in our for our else if statement I need to check if the warrior is true so if warrior is true then I'm going to say new player dot player class is equal to new base warrior class. Now the next thing we can do uh, is go in here and set our new player dot level is equal to zero. Okay, we can go in and grab all of our so now and then now since we've also we can grab our new. Oh, we don't want to be level zero, do we? We level one. So now the next thing we do is go player dot stamina and set that equal to our new player dot player class dot. And now we're in this class. We can go dot stamina. Then we can go new player dot endurance is equal to our new player dot player class and then endurance. So we're getting access to the new player, but the player class. And we'll go new player dot intellect is equal to new player dot player class dot intellect. And finally, we have our new player dot strength. And we're going to set that equal to new player dot player class oh, dot player class dot strength. All right, so I'm going to. Um, come down here and create a couple debug statements so we can read it in the console so we'll go debug uh, debug dot log and we're gonna say uh, in print we'll do uh, in quotations we'll do player class and we'll do we'll add our new player why isn't it seeing it New player dot player class dot character uh, class name. Okay, and then I'm gonna copy paste copy this. We're gonna paste it. We're gonna do player level. We just want to see some stuff, so we'll do level. Okay, copy that. Paste paste paste. So next thing. So now I listed our our the class that you selected, the level, and then. I'm going to come in here and say player stamina, uh, was it endurance, intellect, and then we'll do strength. Strength, 
intellect, endurance, and then stamina. Okay, so we're creating our character. We're giving a class. We're setting the player to zero or level the player level to one, and then we're setting our uh, stats. Control us to save. I'm gonna go back to Unity. Oh, we have some we have parsing error. Okay. Oh, I created a parsing error. Let's see. Oh, so up here, missing a parentheses. Controls to save. Come back. We shouldn't have any other errors. Right. So on our main camera, let me remove that component. Not sure why that's there. I turned off our turn-based combat script. I'm going to drag and drop our create new character script. I'm going to press play. And I'm going to select Mage class. And when I hit create, we should see in our console. Let me go to free aspect. When I when I when I hit create, you should see on our console our character. So right away we have a base class of Mage, level one, and here are our stats. Now I'm gonna deselect Mage and hit Warrior, press create, and you see now we created a warrior level 1 we have 15 12 10 and 14 and we can double check and see how it's different see when we created a mage our player strength was 10 but now our player strength is 14 so in our next episode I'm going to uh, continue doing our character creation screen and then uh, I'm gonna add the ability to type in a player name and save it and then we'll save all the information and then we'll instantiate a real 3d object in the game world that we can use for our turn-based combat system so I'll see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Like, subscribe, and comment if you will. And I'll see you next time.